Some greater estimated rainfall totals between three to as much as six inches of rain. When you get that much rain in such a short amount of time, you see the video that we just saw. Hey, it is today. I know to do some rollerblade. I've never rollerbladed in my life. Oh, oh my gosh, I, I have know. to take you. Yeah, come All right. back. Like <laughs> once you come to go to Green Bay, come back. I'll take you. Perfect. So. We'll, we'll try and work <laughs> things out. Hopefully, I don't face plant. Normally in October, we do see about three tenths of an inch of snowfall accumulation. And the reason why I'm showing this is that as we wake up tomorrow morning, some areas could wake up with a light dusting of snowfall. We do have a severe thunderstorm watch in effect for Marquette, Green Lake, Fond du Lac and Sheboygan counties. This is until seven o'clock, but if I have to be honest with you, the storms are really not looking that impressive. Once the rain stops, then we deal with some strong winds. We've got a high wind warning from Ottagami, Winnebago, off towards uh, Manitowoc counties and up to Door County. You kind of brought this with you? Yeah, bring in some of the cooler air from the north. We're trying, but we're not too far north in Green Bay. It's not Canada just yet. Where you got the greens and you got the reds real close together, that's when we get concerned for the potential of rotation from everywhere across the viewing area. This is the heaviest downpours that are ongoing right now where we're having some thunder and lightning. Rainfall totals, we're talking about one to three inches of rain. That is a lot over the course of this time. I don't think we're going to be dealing with much flooding concerns considering how dry the weather has been, but we do need the rainfall. But take a look off towards Rapid City and Minot. Those temperatures were getting a lot warmer. That's from the return flow from this high pressure that's right over Minnesota at the moment. So high risk future radar product does show that first cluster of storms moving out overnight tonight, and then we'll have a little lull. Then tomorrow morning we have another line of storms that move in here in the morning hours, but they do start to fall apart as you get towards daybreak. Toma, and also some wind damage as well in the town and also north into Hancock. And earlier there was a cluster of storms that moved through into now. NBC 26 meteorologist Gino Recchia. A breezy, cloudy, and even a flurry coated day across northeast Wisconsin. A complete 180 from what we saw earlier in the week. Highs today only reaching into the mid and upper 30s, well below the normal for this time of year. The normal high should be 45, so we were 10 degrees below normal. And it's crazy to think that just 48 hours ago, we saw temperatures that were significantly warmer. We had highs in the lower 70s on Thursday. Then came the strong cold front and today a high of 35 degrees. That's a 37 degree drop off in high temperatures and it certainly feels very chilly outside and it's not going away anytime soon. Look at this large blue area of cold. It's pretty much covering the entire lower 48 and this is going to last for a good chunk of the rest of November. Now the reason why we're seeing this all has to do with what's going on elsewhere, specifically well to the northwest of us. We've got a strong ridge of high pressure that's drawing in some warm air into the Gulf of Alaska. What that's causing is the jet stream to buckle and shoot all this Arctic air down into the lower 48. So while Anchorage will be dealing with above average temperatures, we and Green Bay will be on the opposite side of it. High pressure is going to be moving in for tomorrow. However, for the Packers game, it looks like a nice and sunny day at Lambeau Field. It still will be on the cool side. So while we still have some light flurry activity across Wisconsin at the moment, this will start to diminish as we head into the overnight. The exception, however, will be right along the south shores of Lake Superior, where there's still the expectation of some lake effect snow showers to continue and persist into the overnight hours. That's why we do have a winter weather advisory until 6 a.m. tomorrow for additional accumulation of snowfall. And there's even some other areas that saw accumulating snowfall, especially early this morning. And what really struck my eye was down into southern Illinois. Look at some of these reports stretching all the way from Missouri up into Ohio, close to St. Louis near and exceeding over a half foot of snowfall. That's a full on winter storm right there. And even one to three inches of snowfall from Indianapolis off towards Cincinnati. 
It's always interesting and fun to see how areas to the south of us see accumulating snowfall for the season before we do. So for the rest of tonight, we'll have mostly clear skies. Then as we head into daybreak tomorrow, it looks like another quiet day outside. Temperature planner for tomorrow will be getting into the mid 30s, still below average for this time of year of 45, which is where we should be. Next weather system, though, that moves in will be on Tuesday, and this is where I think we'll have a better chance of seeing accumulating snowfall for our area. It doesn't look like a significant amount of snowfall, but a dusting to an inch, maybe even two inches of snow is certainly possible as we head into Tuesday and even some lingering flurries lasting all the way into Thursday. So for tonight, cooling off to 25 northwest winds, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow would get up to about 35, mostly sunny to partly cloudy. Winds continue out of the northwest at 5 to 10. Seven day forecast. Here comes the light snow showers on Tuesday after Monday's high of 35. Additional snow showers on Wednesday and Thursday before another big push of cold air Friday and Saturday.